Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna fly with uh, Flight Factor Airbus 320 Ultimate, and we're gonna follow a step-by-step -step checklist. Before we begin to follow this video with the checklist, just go ahead and, and download a link. It's provided under this video. And uh, second, I want to point that you're gonna see a timeline listed below that in the same spot which exactly the minute and uh, the seconds uh, for each checklist where it begins so let's go ahead and start I'm gonna put this one on my secondary screen in the real life one of the pilots will go outside and do an inspection of the aircraft we're gonna skip that one we're just gonna jump inside the cockpit and uh, let's do cockpit preparation so first we're going to go to services so we, we have a, a pad here and put the brightness up all right so services supplies fuel packs and cargo we're going to connect the ground power air unit chucks we're going to go to fuel call the fuel truck Packs. We are at the gate, so I'm going to click on the stairs to change to gate and then over on the left front door and then cargo, we're going to go ahead and call both cargo loaders. Alright, I'm going to check now. Engine master 1 and 2, they are on off, ignition selector, normal, parking brake on trust leveler idle landing gear it's on down position we're gonna go to the upper panel set the battery one and two on check the voltage looks good external power on Next, we're gonna go to the IRS, IRS, and the DR. So we're gonna set this to nav, and then we're gonna go down. Flight control, electrical sec fac one on or fault. Evac, captain and purse. Make sure it's set to captain. Emergency electrical power. And I'll go ahead and open this and do a test. And hold the button. There you go. Gen 1 line on. Make sure this is on. It is on. GPWS fault or on they are rcdr uh, we can do a cvr test again we're gonna hold this button there you go oxygen crew supply on and wipers off all right we're gonna go in the middle i'm gonna go up here in the middle now apu Fire button, arm and guard, make sure this is, it's in, and the guard is on. We're gonna do an APU fire test, I'm gonna hold the test button. Alright, electrical pump, yellow pump, I'm gonna turn that on. And now we can check the brakes pedal by pressing the pedals and it's going to be that guy right there the working let's go back up electrical power off gen 1 and 2 on or fault so we're going to skip the fuel for now i'm going to go down here gen 1 into on or fault there Hot air on, it is on, X1 and 2 
I'm sorry, this one. X1 into on or, or fault. Engine bleed 1 into on. They are on. X bleed auto. With this guy, it is set to auto. NTI is probe off. NTI is wings and probe off. Next will be landing elevation auto. Nav and logo lights on. So we're gonna set this to one. Now also we can. <coughs> uh, so what what this does? Let me show you really quick. We're gonna go outside. So we're gonna check to see if the lights are working. So we have two sets of lights here. The first one will be the one nav logo one position, and the second one will be the second position. As you can see the one on the left it's on let's make sure now let's say one of these lights are burned then we're gonna set that to two instead of calling the service to fix that we're gonna set that to two and that's why there are two sets of lights all right moving forward I'm gonna go back to the upper panel so nav and logo lights on uh, okay overhead intake lights brightness will be this guy right here so it's like the brightness of the buttons interior lights uh, DOME DOME now this you set is the interior cabin light as needed if it's dark it depends how you want to do it we're gonna leave it off a and n light test and bright now uh, it is set on bright but this will be if I click on test you can check to see you make sure all the buttons are on and the lights are working I can go here Yes, we can check to make sure that everything works and looking good right, I'm gonna set this one back to bright emergency exit lights arm this is main emergency arm it's in the middle we have three position on arm and off just gonna click once to arm cabin signs on or auto I'm gonna set mine to auto so we're gonna go back up here to the right radio control panel on sure this radio it's on it is on flight control again on the right side ELAC sec in fact on cargo heat hot air AFT ISO valve on now uh, here we're gonna we can set the temperature and put it on AFD. Um, moving forward, cargo smoke test. We can just hold this button. I'm gonna do a cargo smoke test. Ventilation, blower, extra fans on. Blower extract cabins fans on and then again the wipers off now we're gonna go to pedestal I'm gonna check again parking brakes on it is on flaps verify zero flaps are zero speed brakes retract and disarm now arm will be up so it's disarm engine master one into off engine mode selector normal trust levelers into idle transponder so here we're gonna set this to auto and this is set to standby for now radio control panel they're on 
We got two, one on the left, one on the right. Radio panel select VHF1. This is set to that. This is set to two. We're gonna change that one to one. We want the co-pilot to hear what the pilot hears. Now here we're gonna set the frequency. I'm just gonna do a, temp, a random frequency. If I change it to active, you see it does it automatically on the right side. Um, I'm gonna have pilot to ATC to change my frequency. There's one, at least one thing that I don't have to worry uh, by doing this video. Now float lights, we got two. Now one on the left, one on the right. Now this one is required or whatever you need. Those are lights on top of uh, this is the captain and uh, co pilot. Intake lights, again, these are the brightness, the lights of the instruments here. I'm gonna set that to bright. Alright, ECAM man, main panel, PFD and the lights. Now these guys are on the left side here. So the PFD controls the brightness of this ECAM and it will control the brightness of this ECAM. And then upper and lower display, this upper and lower are controlled by these two knobs right here. If you look at the, it says ECAM upper display, sorry, display and then lower. So these are uh, set as you wish. Anti-skid, uh, so it's on, it is on. Landing gear, verify it is on down position. He came a recall button. I'm gonna click on this guy. Recall. Okay, MCDU doors. And check they're open. So we have the left front and the two cargo doors open. Flight director will be the whole thing here. Make sure it is on as you can see. Oxygen mask. Right, I'm gonna go to oxygen mask. We have one on the left side here. I'm gonna click on test and then there is two more on this side. Alright. In the last step here, we're gonna come back to the pad here and we're gonna go to FAP. Um, so here, what I like to do, is go to lights on the bottom and then we're gonna turn on the cabin lights. I use dim one. Now during the day you're not gonna see any difference but during the night if you don't turn this on the aircraft is gonna be with no lights. Alright so that's set. Right cockpit preparation complete. Next we're gonna go to FMGS setup. Now really quick I want to show you that I already set the fly plan into pilot to ATC we're gonna use it as a reference to do this checklist and then also the approach I set the approach to give us vectors to the ILS approach because there is some steps that we need to do into the MacDo in order to be able to do an ILS approach from vectors Let's uh, listen to Atis first. Detroit Metro Wayne Co. Information Whiskey. 1600 Zulu weather. Wind 030 at 7, visibility more than 10. Sky clear, temperature 4, dew point minus 34. Altimeter 3000. Arriving runways 03 right, 04 left, departing runways 03 left. 04 right. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. We'll go to the de delivery frequency. But from now on, pilot ETC will change my frequencies. 
So we have a wind of z 0, 0.30 0 at 7, temperature z uh, 4 Celsius and altimeter 3.00. Zero, zero, zero. Let's see if it's the same. We're going to get a clearance now. Delta 123, ready to copy IFR clearance. Delta 123 is cleared to Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta, climb via the KAYLN2 departure, with the smooth of transition, then direct to Whiskey Yankee November Delta Echo then as filed. Expect departure runway 04 right, climb to 14,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 8 minutes after departure. Departure on 118.57 Squawk 3512. Delta 123 is cleared to Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta climb via the KAYLN2 departure with the smooth of transition then direct to Whiskey Yankee November Delta Echo then as filed climb to 14,000 feet via the departure expect higher clearances 8 minutes after departure departure on 118.57 squawk 3512 Delta 123 Riyadh back correct Altimeter 3002 contact ground on 119.25 when ready for pushback enjoy your afternoon. Altimeter 3002 ground on 119.25 Delta 123. Alright, so altimeter 3002. Alright, so we obtain a clearance. Now before we go to we set up the flight plan, we're gonna go to the uh, Head here and then we're gonna set the fuel packs in cargo I'm gonna use Topcat to calculate everything for me 125 passengers plus 4 that will give us a total of 10,010 10 kilograms now let's see cargo we're gonna do let's do it like that 5080 now this is our flight number um, from departure Detroit to Chicago. As an alternate airport we're gonna select Michigan. So I'm gonna click on estimate so now it gives us 4873 kilograms in fuel. So cargo let's go ahead and set since we are on cargo so we have 5,880 kilograms. You can just highlight that and use your keyboard. 5,080, and then we're gonna click set. Let's go to passengers. It was 125 plus four, 129 passengers. Let's click set. All right, and then we need fuel 4873 4873 now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more and that's because I am going to do a, a go around so we can follow the checklist for go around Right, so fuel packs and cargo set for formal data and speed obtained. Now take off data, winds and speed. So the wind was 030 at 7 slash 7. Temperature was plus 4. QNH. Now the QNH you can get it if you f if you have a uh, pilot to ATC. We'll show you here on the weather. One zero one seven. Set that. One zero one seven. All right. Uh, it's not. It's dry. It's cloudy, but it's not uh, raining. And then the total weight. We got to performance bit. That's our gross weight, 62,160. 160. So 62,160 
flaps configured too. We're gonna take off with flaps too. Cross condition normal, air conditioner, we can leave it on. Our departure airport, runway 04 right. All right, so we're gonna click on compute. So we have flex 66, then we have V1 145 and VR, and then V2 148. Right, so those are the speeds. So now we're gonna go to MCDU. I'm gonna go to initial page, enter our departure, Kilo, Delta, Tango, Whiskey, and then Kilo, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. I'm gonna click on that. We don't have a, a company route, so I'm gonna click return. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, align the IRS. Align on ref, confirm, there you go, return, flight number, DAL123, cost index, let's say 55, cruise altitude 260, now we're going to go to the next page, now here you can click on this button and it will enter automatically, but this information, I'm just, this is extra this is not mandatory but I mean like it's so you can click on this button and it will enter your uh, performance when your numbers in here automatically but if you wanna get that information so this is where you get zero fuel weight which is 5.71 so I'm guessing he's gonna enter 571 so that's that's what you're gonna enter 571 and then here you're gonna get 24.5 let's see if that's accurate so 57.1 and 24.5 right so let's say 57.1 slash 24 0.5, right? 24.5. So that's how we will, you will enter, right? Let's see if it's if I'm getting if I got this right. 57.2, okay, and 24.5. Now the block, the block, it's uh, it's the the total weight, uh, fuel weight on board, which is 5,000. So you put 5.0. So 57, 160, I guess it just rounds the numbers up 57.2. And then this is 24.5 and then 5.0. That would be the, the weight. Anyway. Um, Alright, now we're gonna go to flight plan. I'm gonna select our departure, which is runway for right. Via K2. Now the transition, it's either on the up arrow or left arrow or right arrow. I'm gonna click twice and then you get to transition. I'm gonna click on smooth, insert. Now we're gonna go to our destination. Arrival. ILS 10 left. Via Windy 1. Now transition will be the same, so we're not, we don't have to enter again. But if you have a different transition, you will do the same thing twice on that and then select your transition. Alright, insert. Now let's see, fly discontinuity. From smooth to wind there, we're gonna go straight to there so we can just click. If you have other waypoints to enter, you just type it in here and enter in here and then you click clear flight discontinuity there you go insert now here as you can see it depends well, it depends what flight you have and what flight plan right now from bomb it says manual because it knows that we're gonna get vectors and then you got a flight plan. Now if I wanna click 
clear the fly plan it won't let me unless I clear this manual and then I have to clear the manual and the flight discontinuity in order to uh, go from bomb straight to Charlie I'm gonna leave it the way it is for now and then let's see what's gonna happen over there because I'm 100% sure we are going to get vectors so we're gonna leave it the way it is let's go to performance page now I'm gonna get that information that I got from Topcat now if I click on VR and V2 the aircraft does tell me uh, the VR and the V2 speeds but it doesn't tell me the V1 and according to Topcat it doesn't match so we're gonna enter 145 that was V1 145 VR and then we're gonna do 148 for V2 transition level it is 18,000 we're gonna go with flaps 2 slash now if I go back to the pad it's gonna tell me the trim position which will be up 0 0.8 right there so we're gonna 2 slash and so we're gonna enter 2 slash up 0 0.8 right if it's down then you're gonna enter DN instead of up and then the number right so I'm gonna click there flex it was 66 Right. Take off data set next page climb looking good cruise destination that's our approach for our destination so on the flight plan it's enter now let me bring the charts here for our departure six nine four heavy for your final sequence you follow the delta at the ninety at the end I'm gonna go to the seed, which is where are you? Kaling two. We do have some restrictions here. So we're taking off from zero four right, which is this guy right here. This guy right here. So we're gonna fly that way. Make a left. So I'm just checking right now to make sure that FMC is set correctly at Buick we cannot fly low, uh, higher than 7000 so we have to be at 7000 or lower Dodge 9000 or lower and then Amtrak will be 4000 and higher so this is the difference between lower and higher you see the line it's on top of the numbers that means that's your maximum that you can go 9000 and here that's the minimum because the line it's under the numbers so minimum 4,000 and higher. Here it's 9,000 9, and lower. So those are the two restrictions that we have. Um, let me go to, actually I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to the airport. Also I'm gonna check, uh, actually I'll come back to this. All right. So let's see, Boyk 7000, Dodge 9000, so it is set correctly, those uh, restrictions, they are set correctly. So now, what I like to do, this is extra, you don't have to do it, but with this um, McDo you can set a secondary flight plan. Now what you can do here, when you take off, uh, you can let's say you have an emergency when you take off and you want to come back really fast to land now you're not gonna have time to enter all this information into make do to set your approach for your destination I mean for your departure airport so what I like to, to do for emergency I'm gonna select the wrong longest runway which in this case it is the same one so let's say we're taking off right and then we have an emergency right so now we're gonna come back 
Right. I'm back this way and land on four right. That's the longest runway. That's what I'm gonna set right now. I'm gonna go to initial page and enter our this the departure airport twice. So kilo delta tango whiskey slash kilo delta tango whiskey. Right. I'm gonna set it there. Return. It's in there. I'm gonna click back on secondary plan. We're gonna go to secondary flight plan and then I'm gonna set the destination. The, the departure it's already set on a, on, a, on a main flight plan. This is setting out our approach in case of emergency. Uh, emergency. Uh, so we're, we don't, we're not gonna do any ILS on, on AV, we're gonna fly manually so I'm just gonna go ahead here and just select for right, right? That's it. Now if I go back, now I, I click back on secondary plan, but if, let me show you what, what happened. It just entered our approach and our runway, and that's what I need. So now we're gonna click back to secondary flight plan and we're gonna set the performance. Now the takeoff persona performance, we already set that one on our first flight plan we're gonna go back all the way here to our approach and then we're gonna set the Q&H for our departure report which is 3002 30.02 the temperature which is 4 and then the winds which is 030 at 7 030 at 7 MDA, we're not going to do it here, we're not approaching ILS or any, we're just going to do it manually, so that's what I need. Um, landing with uh, flaps full, that's selected, if you want to land with flaps 3, then you select config 3, but we're going to do flaps 4. So now, in case of emergency, let's say we take off. There's an emergency, we're gonna come to secondary flight plan, activate secondary flight plan, and we already have the information entered. And then we just focus on flying the airplane and land. Alright, let's go back to the checklist. So, make do set. Alright, Q and H modes and altimeter set. It is on Q and H, and then the altimeter 3002. 3002. Oh, there you go. 3002. Our ND mode range, I like to set that one to 10. Um, VOR ADF select. You can do this VRR and then this one and the let's set this to ADF and then this one to VOR if you like uh, I'm gonna keep them off all right uh, speed management select which is dotted I mean it's automatically set so it's good heading management the same thing and then initial altitude, so we're going to change this to 1000 and then we're going to set our initial altitude, it's 140. So that's set. IRS confirm align, they are aligned. If we go up here, yep, good, they are aligned. FD, flight director. I bring the screen like this. Circle off then on. Like watch the screen when I click off this button. It goes straight and then on, and then it follows the fly plan. So we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Right, that's it. LS off, which is ILS. We don't need that. They are off on both sides. FCU verify correct and, and make sure the flight control unit is set. Everything looks good. Transponder code. I'm gonna set the transponder, which was. So I'm gonna click on 
clear twice and the transponder was 3512 3512 right transponder code set that's it so moving forward we go to before start now before we do anything we're gonna go to the pad We're going to go to the services and then disconnect the fuel, the stairs and the cargo. Right, so fuel, remove, stairs, remove and cargo, remove. And then we're going to go to the supply page and then we're going to just uncheck the chocks. We're going to still leave the ground unit and air for now traffic cones remove so if we look outside there's no traffic cones all right everything looks good again this is extra cockpit door at this point come on make sure we lock that all right we're gonna go to overhead panel so we're gonna do a fire test for engine one and two to make sure the uh, fire button arm it's in and guarded and then we're gonna do a test to the left and test to engine two all right now we can go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps all right exit lights let's see I'm gonna set the strobe to auto and then beacon on. APU master switch on. I'm gonna click on that and then we're gonna go to the oops, wrong button to and check on the bottom ECAM on the lower ECAM for the flaps to open. Flaps open and now we can go back here and set the APU to start. Now we're gonna go back to the lower ECAM and wait until the APU becomes available. Five ninety runway two eight. APU available. I'm gonna go back to the upper panel. We're gonna set the APU bleed to on. Now we can disconnect the external power and then go back to the pad and now we can disconnect the ground unit and the air starter unit all right next push back and engine start push back and start clearance now we're gonna go ahead and get a clearance for that Delta 1, 2, 3 is ready for pushback and engine start. Delta 1, 2, 3 pushback and engine start approved. Alright. Pushback and engine start approved Delta 1, 2, 3. Delta 147, Bravo 8. Back. I already said that now there's two taxi lines here. So I'm going to park in the middle. I don't know which one we're going to take. So. All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Ground communication initial. Okay, let's go ahead and say, yep, start pushback. Great news, Captain, your toe's coming. All right, so... Um, we're going to wait for... Tow truck to come and connect. Is the tow truck has a cab view? Yeah, you want to do that? So let's see, bro, was a better pushback. Uh, cab view with the left mouse, you can turn around, click on left mouse, and then you can use your arrows. On your All right, board. looks like the doors and hatches are closed, and we're ready to connect. Move up. Most wheel, you can move a little bit to the back. And there you see, now you see the whole the wings, everything. Just 
just a little bit to the back. There you go. You can have this view. Alright, let's go back to the checklist. So we're gonna set the anti-skid to off. Now you're gonna get an error message here. Don't worry about it. You can Welcome you aboard, like Captain. Toast that, connected, bypass pins inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. So anti-skid off and then we're gonna set the parking brakes to off. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. All right, we're gonna go to pedestal and set engine mode selector to ignition and start. Let me to the right and start engine two. I'm gonna check the Bottom ECAM actually, we can go ahead and bring this to ground, engines. Check the progression. 2 it's available I'm gonna go back here and turn on engine 1 and the same thing check the progression Engine 1 available. Back to the wheels. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Right, we're going to go ahead and set the parking brakes. And then also... And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Right. We can turn on back the anti-skid. And this message is... There you go. Goes away. The next thing we can uh, wait for the hand signal. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. the window and this guy right here We're unlock that all right at the start overhead panel now before I go there let's see temperature it's five right that's what it shows over there now if the temperatures are five or below five I have to turn on the wings and engine 1 and 2 anti-ice. Right. I'm going to leave it off for now. Runway lights on. I'm going to set this guy to on. Landing lights off position. I'm going to bring the landing lights out where they're on off position. Those lights to taxi. APU bleed off and then APU master off. Alright, we're gonna go to pedestal. So we're gonna check, I mean, we're gonna verify the pitch trim, make sure it's set 
correctly. Engine mode selector as required. Now, if it's a stormy weather, I want to leave it on ignition or start. I'm going to leave it on normal. Spoilers arm. I'm going to go ahead and arm the spoilers. Flaps to take off configuration. So that will be number two. Let's set that to two. Rudder trim zero. It's going to be this guy here. Uh, or is required but as right now it's zero so let's say if it's right 0 0.2 or left you can click on reset button and we'll bring it to zero all right let's go to ecam ecam door page so we can go to the door page here and make sure all the doors are in green and they are now we can go to flight control and do a flight control check up neutral down neutral left neutral right neutral this is the rudder pedal left neutral right neutral flight control check Now we can go ahead and click on status, which is STS, and see if there's any messages here. It says normal, so everything looks good. So now we're going to go to taxi, checklist, and uh, obtain uh, a clearance. Delta 123 request taxi to runway 04 right. Uh, we need to Delta 123 taxi to runway 04 right via taxiways uniform 7, Foxtrot, uniform Yankee, Yankee 2, hold short runway 04 right. Other 5 minute right. Taxi to runway 04 right via taxiways uniform 7 Foxtrot uniform Yankee Yankee 2 hold short runway 04 right Delta 123. Alright, so uniform 7 will be the right taxiway. I'm gonna go to Foxtrot and uniform. I'm gonna make a left and another left here to Yankee. I'm gonna make another left. Go all the way down to Yankee 2. That's where we're gonna hold shore. All right, that's good. All right, let's go back to the taxi to the checklist. Right, so we have auto brake. I'm gonna set that to maximum. TO config press. That will be. Uh, let me change the view here. I'll be here. I'm gonna set that to TO config. Parking brake release and confirm taxi lights on. They are on. Alright, let's go ahead and taxi now. We are going to move to the right Uniform 7 taxi line here. Japan is free the road that are for ground. Japan is free the road that Japan is free the road that are for any confirm. Are you turning on transponder? Sorry, Japan is free the road for the Thank you. Good. 
it. And we're gonna make a left. And actually, we're gonna make a sharp left here because this is uniform. Here, but turn on this hmm. doesn't help. How about brightness? Oh, maybe just a little bit. I would turn it off. Not that much difference. Before takeoff, I'm going to add a parking brake. I just set it on. Now the transponder, we're going to set that to Tara. And then we can check the transponder. Set the transponder to the TL to above. I'm going to set it to all and not worry about the transponder. but. When you take off above, when you land below, but that's too all. You don't have that many aircrafts here. So, um, engine mode selector as required. We're gonna leave it on normal. We're gonna verify flaps, takeoff configuration 2, spoilers arm, pitch trim, verify it's set, rudder trim, it's set, verify, and then check dock, uh, cockpit door, make sure it's locked. Alright, I'm gonna go to main ECAM brakes. 
now it says here to be lower than 150 and we have at 45 celsius so that's good terrain on and d now if there is any terrains or airports that you take off then we're going to turn on the terrain at this point here there's none so no need to do that auto brake um, Auto brake verify it is on. Brake fan it is off. Sliding table stall and then check the flight director. Um, set that automatically. Check, make sure everything is set. All right. Well, the next we're gonna get a clearance from uh, ATC. Delta one two three, ready for departure runway zero four right. Delta one two three windings are zero four seven at five knots. Altimeter three zero zero one cleared for takeoff. Runway zero four right squawk three five one two. The wind change so. cleared for takeoff. Runway zero four right squawking three five one two. Delta one zero two four three seven at five. Zero four seven at five. Now you can also come here to initial pane and then click on winds and winds request update so you can do that right, go back to fly plan all right so we have the clearance to take off overhead panel landing lights to on nose lights to to take off packs one and two is required if you want to uh, turn off the packs you can do that external light wings as required now some air ports require you to turn on the wings we're gonna turn them on now we're gonna go to take off parking brake off we're gonna line up with the runway the steps under the below 10,000 feet you will have to memorize this this is something that you don't have time to look at the checklist to see if you set the spoilers up and all that autopilot trust level and all that this is something that you have to do it while you're flying you can set the trust to 50 percent you can see on the screen right here that blue line for the engine to stabilize and then we're gonna go and set this to trust levels two clicks will take you to the flex position all right Can turn on the autopilot. I'll, I'm gonna do it because I'm following the checklist, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's call it in. Delta one two three at two thousand. Delta one two three. Good afternoon. Radar contact. Altimeter three zero zero five. I mean, in the meantime, I I retract the trust level or to climb right now we're gonna um, gradually bring the flaps to up based on speed flaps zero 
Now we can... Delta 123, contact Detroit departure on 132.02. Have a good afternoon. Turn off runway. Departure on 132.02, Delta 123. And if you have the packs off, turn them on. I'm gonna contact... Delta 123 at 5000. Delta 123, good afternoon. Radar contact. Altimeter 3001. The next step will be about 10,000 feet, so we're still climbing right now. Uh, uh, restrictions coming in, 7,000. So we're gonna stay to 7,000. Delta 123 contact Toronto Center on 134.37. Enjoy your afternoon. Once we pass break, we can uh, start climbing to 9,000. Until we pass Dodge and then on from there. All right, let's call it in. Delta 123 at 7,000. Delta 123 contact Toronto Center on 134.37. Enjoy your afternoon. Oh. Center on 134.37. Take care, Delta 123. I need to respond to it. All right, let's contact Center. Delta 123 passing 7000. Delta 123, good afternoon. Radar contact. Climb and maintain one four thousand feet altimeter two nine nine nine. Climb and maintain one four thousand feet altimeter two nine or nine or nine or delta one two three. Still climbing to one four zero. here to bright but change that much. So we are at 9000 we wait until we pass Dodge and then we can start climbing to 140. Take us 242, descend 10,000, QNH 1000. 
Above 10,000 feet, autopilot is already on. Landing lights, we can turn them off and retract. Engine wings, anti ice. Now we can check the weather. And yep, we are gonna go ahead and set the anti ice on. Engine mode selector as required I'm gonna leave it on main on normal exit lights engine wings exit lights we're gonna turn them off seat belt signs on have mine on auto terrain terrain on and the off if you had it on Delta altimeter one, two, standard five, will be two, zero, zero. in this case pay, passing 18,000 climb and maintain flight level 200 zero, zero, delta Authorization check. Your lower ECAM should be on cruise, and everything looks good. All right, passing 18,000. Wanna set the altimeter to standard. And checklist complete. The next one will be pre-descent. Alright, uh, I'm gonna bring the charts here. Bring this one a little bit smaller. So we can see what's going on. I'm gonna go to KORD. expect the windy one arrival with the smooth transition for the ILS approach to runway 10 left at Chicago O'Hare International after thrice cleared direct smooth contact Cleveland Center on 120.45. Have a good afternoon. 
Expect the wind one arrival with a smooth transition for the aisles approach to runway 10 left after IIICE clear direct smooth center on 120.45 delta 123. So basically, it's the same route that we set after IIICE we're going straight to smooth. So let's contact. Uh, Delta 123 at flight level 200. Delta 123, good afternoon. Radar contact. Climb and maintain flight level 260. Delta 123, climb and maintain flight level 260. Climb and maintain flight level 260. Delta 123. Delta 123, climb and maintain flight level 260. Ready, Climb and maintain flight level 260, Delta 123. Uh, carrying back number to 250, not for this distance. Ready, pilot 250, carrying back into 2 knots, find out 430. Let's bring the charts here. Let's our transition smooth, go via windy, and that's our approach. And when we get to bomb, we're gonna most likely we're gonna get well, maybe even before that we're gonna get uh, vectors. So let's go ahead. ILS 10 left. A couple of things that we like to see. So first of all, I know we're gonna go around, so we have to climb the 4000 heading 093 to an inbound on Chicago Heights. DOR and hold, so info 4.2 093, we're gonna make a right turn to go to our holding point and the entrance will be 156 and it's gonna be right, we're gonna set that to right, so we're gonna make sure the FMC is set correctly. Charlie, it should be a Charlie at 4000. That's most likely that's our <coughs> in to intercept ILS to be at 4000. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, let's get the info, the weather info. Now we can set the ATS, the ATIS to listen to the ATIS to the weather. I'm gonna use pilot to ATC. I'm gonna go to weather, so temperature 4. Celsius. Then we have winds of 10, 1, I mean 0, 1, 3 at 13, altimeter 3005. And I will bring the charts here really fast. And then the D MDA will be 872 for the ILS. 
performance page next 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 and then we're gonna set the approach phase QNH3005 temperature 4 winds 013 at 13 013 slash 13 transition level 1800 and NDA that was Delta one two three contact Chicago center on one two seven point five five. Enjoy your afternoon. Eight seventy two. We're gonna land with full configuration. We start the speed for the approach. Forty four. Next stage go around one forty four one one at two six. Okay. okay let's, yeah, let's contact the approach. Center on one two seven point five five dip to one two three. Delta one two three at flight level two six zero. Didn't hear me. Let's try again. Delta one two three at flight level two six zero. Delta one two three. Good afternoon. Radar contact. So if you look at pre-descent above 10,000 feet on a, on a checklist, 80 is obtained, we did obtain the weather uh, and make two, we did um, set the performance page, um, we're going to check the nav accuracy but once again I left a fly plan discontinuity for now the way it is I'm just gonna leave it like that um, Delta one two three descent via the wind one arrival with the smooth up transition to 4,000 feet altimeter three zero zero three at Chicago O'Hare International Descent via the wind one arrival with the smooth up transition to 4,000 feet altimeter 3003 delta 123. Alright, so we have the altimeter again, um, those 3003. We're gonna come back here and change that. I think we we'll set it with 3005, so let's do 3003. Alright. So now I'm gonna actually sorry, I'm gonna go back here. Actually, you know what? Let me bring this screen here. And then we're gonna check this fly plan. I'm gonna just bring it down here. I wanna see. We're gonna go step by step here a little bit and see. Um I'm just checking the uh, altitude. Work on work bump for bump. We're gonna be at 5,000, and then we have to be at Charlie at 4,000. And it's a big jump here from car to bomb from 8 to 5, so we have to lose 3,000 feet. So that's gonna be a, a big bump there. I have to go faster. So, what I like to do, I'm probably gonna start descending 
move it earlier. Close this. So that's our top of the sand. What I like to do is start descending a little bit earlier. Let's set the altitude to come on. There you go, four thousand. I'm going to start descending just a little bit earlier than our top of descent. So we check the nav, accuracy, seat belt signs, we can uh, turn them on. Mine, they are on auto. And then the next thing we're gonna set the altimeter here if it's not the same to 3003 but once we pass 18,000. All right so let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually push this 4,000 and then we just want to make sure we check the speed. Make sure we don't over speed here. And now we start descending. Alright. So in one point, this dot here will come down and it's gonna catch us for sure. here outer tank fuel transfer so what happens there is let's go to the fuel so basically it's transferring probably messed a little bit up so it's transferring the fuel from this tank, from the outer tanks to the middle one. Not to the middle, but to the next one. Uh, as you can see, the fuel level is not the same. So to fix that, we can do the following. We can go up here, and then we're going to click on x fans on and then we're gonna turn off the last pumps so what's happening now is taking fuel from here for both engines so this one stop and this one is gonna get lower so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it like that until these two tanks are the same Now the numbers are going up because it's still transferring the fuel from the outer tanks. But basically I'm just gonna wait until these two numbers, they get pretty much the same. And 
970 you know it's getting close to 990 980 Chicago approach on 124.35. Good day. Approach on 124.35, Delta 123. So that's pretty close. Now we can go back up there. And then we're going to turn on the fuel pumps and then off the X feed. Alex, uh, contact the approach. Delta 123 at uh, flight level 180. Delta 123 at flight level 175. Delta 123, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue descent via the wind one arrival for the aisles approach to runway 10 left at Chicago O'Hare International. Continue descent via the wind one arrival for the aisles approach to runway one zero left delta one two three. All right, so we passed eighteen thousand. We're lower than eighteen thousand, so we set the altimeter to three zero zero three, and then we're gonna continue with the checklist below ten thousand feet. So now we are descending a little bit more rapidly. Again, uh, an eye on the speed. And if you over speed, you can use the flaps to slow down. And uh, or Still under five. Still has 2,900 kilograms of fuel. As you can see now, we can't pretty much the same. We're still transferring fuel. Those guys are the same. Click on fuel, go back to the cruise page. As you can see, we are speeding here. So I'm gonna use the flat to half. And help the aircraft to slow down. Track the, the flaps now, it should slow down. And if it doesn't, I track the flaps, but I gotta keep on mind this. And if it doesn't slow down at 10,000, we have to be at 250, so just gonna make sure that we are at 250 there. Let's 
go ahead and um, go to a checklist below 10,000 feet. We are getting to 10,000. Let's go to the upper panel. We're now turn on the landing lights. Exit lights, wings. I know Chicago does require to have the wings on. I'm gonna turn them on. Anti ice temperature is still below five, so we're gonna leave them on. Um, now terrain uh, nav av accuracy accuracy. We check that it's all good. Um, and then terrain, you have to rain again. We're gonna turn them on. Mm, I just turn it on. I don't think we need the terrain in Chicago, but just let's do it. Let's turn them on. Thousand. Maybe slower than two fifty. That's good. Next, we're gonna do the approach clearance. We did get our clearance right, continue descent via windy one arrival for ILS approach to runway one zero left. So we got that sliding cables now stalled. Seatbelt signs verify they're on, find they're on auto. I'm gonna leave it there. Now we can turn on the ILS, we can do it on both sides, check the personalization page, all looking good. Now if you like, I know the, the, I know the wheels are in, but you can turn the runway on and the nose light to taxi for now. They don't turn on, they are off even if, uh, if they're inside, but we just have them ready. And then ECAM status check, still there's no blue messages, nothing. And this one is still transferring fuel for now. So that's check. Now I'm doing this a little bit earlier, just in case uh, things are getting too fast now here here's what I like to do I'm gonna click on the on the speed so it's set to 245 so I'm gonna leave it at 245 and then come here to performance and activate the approach um, make sure you set your speed first if you don't and leave it on automatic you're gonna slow down so right now we're still flying at 250 and uh, 6000 should be there at 5 Delta 123 turn left heading 213 vectors to the aisles approach for runway 10 left at Chicago O'Hare International descend and maintain 6000 feet Heading 213 vectors to the aisles approach for runway 10 left descend and maintain 6000 feet delta 123. I'm gonna leave it at 4000. It's just because pilot ATC thinks that I'm going in a different location, but we have to go to Charlie. And then I'm gonna activate the speed again to Auto, and then I'm gonna set this to approach. Now here's what we're gonna do. Let me bring the FMC here. Alright, so we're gonna go direct. Let me bring it on the side. Direct Charlie. Right. And then we're gonna click on radio in and then insert. Now it's gonna take us automatically there, but that's not Delta what one, I two, want. Three, turn left, heading one, eight, two. Right, because we're still vectoring, so I pull Hold on. Heading 1A to Delta 123. 
Um, so, because we're still vectoring, I pull Delta back. Delta one two three cleared for aisles to heading. runway one zero left. Fly heading one two one to intercept final descend and maintain four thousand feet. Cleared for aisles approach to runway one zero left. Fly heading one two one descend and maintain four thousand feet. Delta one two three. One two one. You know, it gives me to descend to four thousand. If I was gonna leave it at six, we we're gonna be too high. So now we are at 4,000. We're still on the approach. So we are 4,000, and that's where it's supposed to be uh, to intercept. So approach, select automatic pilot to set. And we missed it, but you know, I'm gonna turn this knob to go back this way because we missed it. So, in the meantime, I set the flaps to one, and now we are slowing down. Now we can go a little bit to the left here. Delta one two three altimeter three zero zero three at Chicago O'Hare International Contact Tower on one one nine point six two. Enjoy. Altimeter three zero zero three tower on one one nine point six two. Delta one two three. Let's see if we're gonna. gonna capture us. Going for 21 Delta, contact departure is good. Good captain. We got localized, the light spot. Uh, we can call it in. We are making the final turn and we are descending. Five, seven, eight, right there you go. Left, left, so, many things in the same time, right? So let's call it in. Delta 123, inbound at 4000, request ILS approach. Delta 123, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 10 left, call when established on final. Continue ILS to runway 10 left, we'll call when established on final. Delta 123. landing gear. Before landing checklist will be the same like the takeoff uh, checklist. Well, you will have to memorize this and do this um, based on the, on the flight. We're still gonna go uh, over the before landing checklist, but as you notice, I did not do the steps the way they are right now. Delta one two three established on final for ILS runway one zero left. Delta 123 winds are 013 at 10 zero knots cleared to land runway 10 zero left. Cleared to land runway 10 zero left. Delta 123. Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, NC0 altimeter is check. Landing gear down. Approach on. Autopilot on. Flaps as required. I'm gonna set flaps three now. Uh, landing clearance we did. Get the clearance taxi lights. I'm gonna set this to TO. Landing lights verify on. Missed approach altitude. It's 4000. It's set. Auto brake as required. We're gonna set that to low. Brake fan. We're gonna set that to on. Spoilers arm. And we're gonna set flaps full. Landing Nemo. It's all green. All right. So next we're gonna go to go around. We're not gonna land. So, so 
sorry, I had to rush, and there is a lot of things to I had to do. Alright, so we're gonna perform on I'm gonna leave it until it says landing and then we're gonna go ahead. So again when you do a go around are the same steps that uh, as we took off from uh, the departure airport. So again this is a, a checklist that you have to memorize. Right, we got the landing green light. So let's say we cannot land, we have to go around. Alright, let's do that. Trust level or maximum. Goes up, flaps, three position, positive climb, gear up. We're gonna go to zero nine three, heading zero nine three. Notify the ATC Delta one, two, three going around. First level or Spoilers, the SAR. Cross level it is climb and set to speed. Um, ILS off. Outside, auto brake off. Brake fan off. Thank you, hold position set. Alright, we're gonna. Well, we already intercept that, so we have to make a right now. Use that. gonna go to intercept this guy right here Click on hold position and then inbound course, which according to the chart it's 156, and then it's gonna be to the right, so we can do that. We can do 156 and then turn right. You can change that. Let's say if it's left, then you, you click left, but in this case it's right and then click compute over there it says 341 I think on the chart was 336 this is the other side of the loop I'm gonna leave it the way it is So you didn't hear me the first time when I called going around, so let me try it again. 
Delta 123 going around. Delta 123 execute the published missed approach for ILS to runway 10 left contact approach on 124.35 to request another approach. Execute the published missed approach for ILS to runway 10 left approach on 124.35 Delta 123. We are still flying heading manually. Now once we get to the holding position, as you can see on the screen, it's going to enter through here and then change and then we're going to make a left here, go to here and then we're going to start holding the pattern to the right. Now let's see if it does that. Now at this point we're gonna check make sure we have enough fuel. 1380 they're good. Temperature is four so we're gonna still leave the anti-ice on. on the screen so you can see exactly what's going to happen. So this should change. I'm going to take a look at the heading mode. It should change to the dots be automatically once we get to the holding point and then start doing the loop. Like I said, it's going to make a left. We'll make a left and then enter 156 and then we're just gonna circle until we exit so the, here is gonna be holding right it should be a message here it says exit so let's see now in some cases this will take you automatically to the holding point you just have to maxing the power and do all the other steps and this will automatically here it doesn't Resume hold. We can click resume hold. And then we can click on the heading mode to auto. So let's see, it should take us here and then just do the loop. Thank you. 
see we are making a right turn and then he should just hold us to the loop until we click on exit Set the NCDU hold position set. Now we're gonna obtain the approach clearance from holding position, and then once we get that, we're gonna come to the FM uh, MCDU and then just click on exit. I just want to show you, as you can see, that's our flight plan for now. Just going in circles all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set and obtain a clearance now from the holding point One two three is missed approach. Request vector for ILS to runway one zero left. One two three radar contact. Turn left heading three one six vectors to the ILS approach for runway one zero left at Chicago O'Hare International. Three one six. Now, if you go to heading mode manually, it should take you off from there. And now we can just click on exit. Right. So here we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We can do it now. Um heavy mode it's three one six. Let's put this one. I mean we can wait. But well, let's do it now. So we're gonna go again direct Charlie. You know that's our point. So, so we have to be at Charlie at 4000. So again I'm gonna click on the radial in and then insert. Now, like I said, the FMC, see, now it's taking me directly to that, but we're going to pull this. We're still on vectoring. So I don't want the FMC, the flight plan, to take me directly there because we're still vectoring, but also I want to capture us when we get there. So, and that's why right now if you look at the, let's see Let's zoom out. There you go. Now you can see better. Now we have a dotted line over here. So when we get to Charlie, it's going to capture out. And hopefully we can do the landing a little bit better this time. And not rushing that much. Right, so we're still in vectoring. No, leave it like that. Um, now obviously I'm going to go to the performance page and actually we can do that now so I'm gonna pull this to give me the speed manually speed and I'm just gonna activate the approach phase for now so I don't have to come back here I can just click on that and it's gonna automatically slow down but we're not gonna do it now we're still vectoring to the final approach all right so going back to the chart mcdu xe holding point set now what we need to do is go back to to the approach and landing procedures and do them again so approach clearance um we're still vectoring sliding tables their stove seat belt signs verify if they're on they are ILS on pressurization check now we can go to that screen let's click on fuel 
good. Runway lights on, nose lights. Taxi. I think they are. I have to turn them off. So there, there are. I'm gonna change this to taxi. For now, you can leave it on TO. It doesn't matter. It's not that important. Nose, nose lights to taxi. Ecam stat to check. So checking the Ecam stat to it's all green. Everything looks good. So the next one would be before landing. Still have 2,000 kilograms in fuel, plenty enough for fuel, so we're good. I'm still waiting on uh, ATC for instructions. Delta 123, turn left, heading 311. Heading 311, Delta 123. Yep. 311 set. Approach, good uh, morning, I report to 0, heavy
Delta one two three turn right heading three one six. Heading three one six Delta one two three. Heading three one six. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the speed and then bring flaps to 1 and this should slow us down, approach phase was activated. So before landing going to the checklist MCDO approach phase it is set, altimeter check. Now we can go ahead and bring the landing gear down. Also click on the approach. In this case, pilot 2 is already set because we did go around. Yeah. Yeah, flaps as required. Okay, so we need, uh, we're waiting on our clearance to land. So we're going to bring the ILS on. Bring the ILS earlier. I forgot to do that. Sorry. Like Delta one two three off. turn right heading zero zero five. Heading zero zero five Delta one two three. Approach one zero zero five. Delta one two Delta one two three cleared for aisles to runway one zero left fly heading zero six one to intercept final. Cleared for aisles approach to runway one zero left fly heading zero six one delta one two three. Zero six one. We got the landing clearance. I'm just gonna take a look at what's going on here, make sure we are getting captured here. I don't think ATC might not be perfect, so I might have to change the heading mode. But we did get localizer, as you can see, we are making a right turn. Alright, so, going back to a landing checklist, landing clearance obtained, landing taxi light set to TO. Delta 1, 2, 3, altimeter 3003 at Chicago O'Hare International Contact Tower on 119.62, enjoy your afternoon. Please approach altitude set to 4000. Altimeter 3003 tower on 119.62, delta 1, 2, 3. On, brake fan on, spoilers arm. Flaps as required, we can go ahead and set flaps 3. Landing memo, memo 
no blue so we're gonna contact tower Delta 123 inbound at 4000 request ILS approach to runway 10 left Delta 123 radar contact Continue ILS to runway call when established on final Continue ILS to runway will call when established on final Delta 123 Our fly scope come on buddy there you go, fly scope on, localizer on, we are captured. So, let's call it in. Delta 123 established on final for ILS, runway 10 left. I didn't hear me, let's do it again. Delta 123 established on final for ILS, runway 10 left. Alright, I gotta do this. Manually. Delta 123 established on final for Isles, runway 10 left. Delta 123 winds are 0 1 3 at 10 knots cleared to land runway. Land, runway. Cleared to land There's runway Delta 123. I'm glitching there. Alright, so we have clearance to. Land. Alright, so everything looks good. Thank you from India, down in touch and go. Thank you from India, follow the system, guys. Thank you from India. Uh, next thing we're just gonna set the flaps to full. I'm gonna do that when we get to so maybe 2500. We do see the runway. Alright, so the next one will be after landing. Now if you want to land ILS, there is nothing to do at this point, just going to leave it the way it is and once you touch down, lower the thrust levelers and then perform the reverse and then slow down. And what I like to do is more challenging but I like to do that is disconnect the automatic pilot and just land manually I hope we don't have to do a go around again now fuel fuel 15 60 50 60 that's plenty of fuel Still in good shape. Shape.
brakes on. Delta 123 clear of active. Delta 123 contact ground on 118.05. Enjoy your afternoon. Ground on 118.05, Delta 123. Right, let's go to the checklist after landing right. flaps, retract. Ground ambulance. Right, zero. Spoilers. Retract. Spoilers. Retract. Engine mode selector. And it's set to normal. Transponder to standby. Alright, overhead panel, nose lights to taxi, landing lights off. I think we should can retract the landing lights all the way. APU master switch on. Let's turn on the APU. I'm just gonna wait for the flaps to open again. Engine wings and anti eyes, we can turn them off now. And then it can main panel brake temperature. Now we can go to the brake here, so we're gonna go to wheels. And it's 165 and 170, and it should be less than 300, so we are good. Alright, let's go back to the APU page. There you go. Um, so, ILS both sides, flex experience obtained. Now this is because I turn off the autopilot, but you can clear this, but you can all clear here, status normal. Alright, let's obtain taxi. Now I updated the checklist and also included uh, to turn off the terrain on and D after landing. Uh, what gates? What gates? Let's see something. This is not what you're supposed to do, but let's check something. Um, pilot to ETC will not see the gates. If there are any aircraft on that, I will give you the gates anyway. This is American Airlines. That's where Delta, Delta is. Okay, what gate is this? Echo 17. Alright, let's request that. And also, let me see, where, where, where are we? Let's bring the charts here. Turn left. And we are right here, right? Let's see. November 3. November 3. Alpha 15. That's where we are, right here. Okay. Let's uh, request a clearance to Echo 17, right? Let's see if it's gonna give me that. Delta 123, request taxi to gate Echo 17. Delta 123, taxi to gate Echo 17 via taxiways November, November 2, Garo, Alpha 12, Alpha, Dango Alpha X-Ray, India Lima Alpha November Echo. Oh. Taxi to gate Echo 17 via taxiways November November 2 Bravo Alpha 12 Alpha Tango Alpha X Ray India Lima Alpha November Echo Delta 123. I did not check the taxi line, but I, it looks like it's named. So if you if you look at if you take every the first letter from these guys it's taxi lane C T A X I L A N E taxi lane somebody named that taxi lane 
and that's not good and that's why he gave me that but this is the taxi one so november november 2 bravo alpha 1 alpha 1 to alpha let's see this is november yeah. so basically it tells me to make a left turn here and go to november 2 that's okay and then alpha 12 we're here to alpha and and then that's our game right here echo 17 all right well let's do that I just realized I don't have the terrain on to turn it off so I'm gonna add that to the after landing we can turn that off here so parking brakes off uh, let's make a left turn here sharp left turn This is just to give us the idea. Uh, it's not perfect, but at least you get the point. November 2, I'm gonna make a right. Engine master one and two off. Cockpit door unlock. 
Lights off. I can turn off the nav lights. So. so all exterior lights off. Services. Now we're gonna go to the pad here. We're gonna go to services, and then we're gonna connect supply, pass, and cargo. So we're gonna do the ground unit, air packs. We are at the gate. Call cargo to unload everybody external power let's go back here to on APU bleed off APU master off Choose a 763 pushback approach. Brake fan, fan off. Alright, so next one will be securing the aircraft. So ECAM main panel. ECAM upper lower display on and off. If you wish. Turn them off. EFD and the light brightness off. We can do that on both sides. Ground kill link 49, Proxy 315 Delta, A16, we're going to push back. Kill link 315 Delta, ground. Let's go to pedestal, full light off. Intake lights off. Radios off. Overhead panels. Turn off the radio too. There you go. IRS deers off. Interior internal lights off. Seven signs off. We'll have intake lights off. We can turn that off. Wipers they are off. External power off. Alright, so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna remove cargo. Fuel truck. Well, we didn't even use the fuel truck. Um, remove the packs, but then we can, we can remove these guys in packs if you want, but then you can get out. So, well, let's remove that and then I'm gonna go back up here and turn off the batteries. And there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Until next time, happy flying.